Hi, I'm Brad Duncan with RayPAC, coming to you through Pullman University. I'd like to talk to you for a minute about the RayPAC Avia gas burning heater. Avia is our smaller footprint heater, so it's going to be uh, considerably smaller than what you may be accustomed to out of a RayPAC device. A uh, high quality piece of equipment that differentiates itself considerably from other similar sized products. The, uh, when I talk about a smaller size, I'm talking about a footprint that's roughly two by two square on the pad, stands just about two and a half feet tall. So considerably smaller than the Raypack Digital. All right, this is also a drop-in replacement for some similarly sized products out there. By that, I mean the plumbing lines up perfectly. The gas line on the other side will also line up perfectly and your venting will line up perfectly with these other products as well. Uh, it is a downward firing device, so our fuel is blown downward across the heat exchanger where it is ignited by a direct spark ignition. Now this differentiates itself from other similar sized products by the fact that it does not have a hot surface igniter, it does not have a pilot assembly, it just has what would be something like a spark plug that fires for four seconds and then looks for flame. If it doesn't find the flame, it will start the whole process over again. One other thing that's available as an upgrade is our heavy duty model that contains our NITEC heat exchanger. Now NITEC is what makes it the heavy duty model. In the swimming pool industry, when we heat water by running the swimming pool water through pipes and then burning a fire you know, above or below those pipes to heat the pipes and then the water takes that heat back to the pool. Now these pipes are typically made of copper. Copper is a great a metal to use for a heat exchanger. It absorbs heat well, it releases heat well to the water. The, the biggest problem that we have with copper is that it's, it's soft. So copper is a pretty soft metal and swimming pool water is typically pretty harsh, or much harsher than the uh, domestic water that you have in your, in your home. So the industry went to something called cupro-nickel as a heavier duty device. Now cupro-nickel is, uh, they, we, they take copper and they add nickel to it in the smelting process to make an alloy. And by the way, this is the same way we make stainless steel. steel. We're adding nickel to copper instead of steel in this case. Now that's great, it does, it makes it harder, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, the problem is because it's harder, you lose some of the efficiency, perhaps up to 2%. What if instead of putting that nickel in the copper, we put it on the copper? We coat the entire heat exchanger in the tubes, outside the tubes, the fins, the tube sheets, everything is coated with nickel. Okay, this we found makes us, it gives us 900% more nickel, you know, in the areas that are critical where, they, where the water makes contact with the heat exchanger. It also makes it uh, more efficient. It gives you that 2% efficiency back. So we're 300% more corrosion resistant than standard copper, 200% more erosion resistant than cupro nickel, and 50% less likely to form scale inside the tubes simply because it's too slick for the scale to grab onto. This is uh, something that's not available on any other product on the market. Um, this heater further differentiates itself given that it has dual temperature sensors. Other heaters on the market have one incoming sensor. This tells you the water, the, the, the temperature of the water coming in and lets the heater know whether or not it should fire. Okay, well we still have that, but we've added an exit temp sensor. So we're, we're measuring the temperature of the water coming and going. And the board in the heater is measuring the difference between those two, dif those two temperatures to determine things like whether or not the flow through the heat exchanger is correct, um, uh, whether it's moving too quickly or too slowly. It can also do things like figure out, given the amount of energy over time, it can figure out approximately how big your swimming pool is. All right, your heater 
can estimate the gallonage in your swimming pool. Using that information, it can further determine how long it's going to take your heater to get that water temperature up to the temperature that you set the heater. All right, gallonage and the amount of time it takes to heat available at your fingertips. We don't know of anybody else who does this. The Protec Shield is another device that's available on any uh, residential sized Raypack swimming pool heater. Uh, this is a uh, a built-in standard piece of equipment that helps to mitigate the effects of uh, damage due to ionic migration uh, within the uh, swimming pool itself. I mean, typically what you might find is anytime you put two different metals in water, any water, you create a battery. You create a small amount of DC voltage flowing back and forth between these two metals. And the less noble of the two metals will deteriorate at a faster rate. This is called the sacrificial anode. What if we put an anode in it from the start, from the factory, that is even lower on the nobility scale than what you might commonly find in a swimming pool? And this is what we've done with the Protec Shield. This comes standard on both the Avia and the digital. And finally, this heater is Wi-Fi enabled. There is currently no other heater on the market is, that is Wi-Fi enabled. This is not an upgrade. This is standard. So when you set this heater down and wire it up, it immediately begins to look for a signal. You will use a cell phone to uh, tell the heater what the Wi-Fi signal information is, the, which, which Wi-Fi and what the password is. It will then log itself on and you can set this up to uh, send you messages when there is a failure. You can program the heater to turn on and off at different times of the day. You can set temperatures. You can flip between pool and spa. All of this can be done from your phone or any internet enabled device. This is just a quick version of what we think is the best prop parts of this particular heater. I think you can look into it a little bit more on our web website at raypack.com. We're happy to answer any questions you might have. I hope you'll stick with us and maybe learn some more about it as well. Thanks for stopping by.